Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. In today's video, we're taking on Mayor Diana, doing some mythological rituals, and hopefully getting very, very lucky today. You guys can probably tell by the title of the thumbnail, that's exactly what we did. Our luck spree just keeps on going crazy. Not only did we get a chimera in today's video, wait till you guys see what we got at the beginning before all that. So without further ado, if you guys are new here, leave a like and subscribe, and let's jump right into this kind of RNG madness that's been going on the last couple days super quickly if you ever do find yourself checking on the hypixel store don't forget to use my career code code zach that's z-a-c-h to save yourself an extra five percent on checkout whether you're getting a rank some gems or anything else in between highly recommend it and i do greatly appreciate it now without further ado it's time to get lucky so it is currently mayor diana and i want to do some of that however something i've been noticing that i think might need a little bit of attention is i haven't had a um xp share on in a long while i think i have one on a pet somewhere i don't know which pet is still just getting juiced up like beyond imaginable amounts um so good for that pet however um i've gotten a little bit lucky on this profile i have dropped a few x exp shares yeah last one i did was my skeleton horse this thing must have so much xp on it it's not even funny yeah 55 mil extra uh overflow so yeah this thing's been good juiced up for a while it's time to see if we can get lucky again i think i've dropped three on this profile if we can get lucky and drop a fourth it would be amazing i'm gonna focus on a couple of beast jerrys i'm done emerald slime i'm actually gonna start up by hitting up the lapis zombies and see if we can get lucky with this and uh yeah at a minimum i should get some beast jerry levels at a maximum, we should get an EXP share course. So uh, let's see if we can get lucky and while grinding some beast jerry. Okay, we're already up two beast jerry levels. One up a redstone pigmen and a lapis zombie tier, which is uh, super nice. My redstone pigments though are quite low. 200 out of the 3,000 kills I need. And then lapis zombies, I'm at 800 out of the 3,000. We have emerald slime done. Uh, I might make my way down to take on some minor skeletons and zombies. Um, I still need to do like... 96 sneaky pigment or uh, sneaky creepers but i don't even know like how to spawn those things anymore like i, I was walking around in the gunpowder mines and like none were spawning on me so i don't know if i have to do anything special or what but yeah uh at least we're getting some beast jerry levels out of this i think i'm also 2 xp away from leveling up so two more tiers and uh we'll be level 349 which should be pretty awesome so i was standing around i was breaking blocks trying to like make these sneaky creepers appear and turns out if you wear aurora armor i don't know what part of this does this maybe it's uh arcane vision gives you the ability to see the runic affinity of enemies i'm assuming that's what it is because see this right here this is oh he, he's on the move he, he is on the move that was a sneaky creeper you can literally just see like particles spawning off them if you're wearing um aurora so this is gonna make this grind much easier i literally had no idea how to like see or find these things and um all of a sudden now i just can i was i was literally thinking about just spamming hype all the way through the gunpowder mines and hoping that i hear like a ding of like hitting a mob or something but uh it i it wasn't it wasn't the most tried and true method i'm gonna be honest this is much better so shout out to someone in the guild chat i think it was oblivion who told me to wear aurora i was like do sneaky creepers just not spawn? And he was like, uh, they're very sneaky. Where are Aurora? And here, here we are. Now, now I can literally see them. And this is going to make finishing off, or actually maxing, uh, sneaky creeper bestiary much easier. Because I think I'm like 60, maybe 50 kills away from maxing sneaky creeper bestiary. It's only 300 to max it. So that's going to be super nice. And it'll be really cool to max out another bestiary. So yeah, let's finish this off real quick. And there we go. Max sneaky creeper bestiary level 10. That is beautiful. So that is our second mob in the deep caverns maxed out. We still have uh, redstone pigments, which I'm at 400 out of 5k or 3k. Same story for minor zombies. I literally have one more kill of those. And we have zombie minor skeletons uh, and then lapis zombies. So a lot of these are still a decent amount of kills because like the spawn rates just aren't the best. But happy I was able to finish off sneaky creepers. So shout out to uh, the fellas for letting me know to wear Aurora. And for those who didn't know, highly recommend it. Uh, literally makes the beast jury nearly free. So yeah, definitely the strat and um, made that grind much, much easier. And um, yeah, if you haven't done that yet, you should go do it. It's, it's one of the freest beast series by far. Oh my goodness, I actually got one. EXP share core, let's go. <laughs> Number five of the profile, that is huge. Uh, I was literally about to give up. I decided that I was just gonna do one more beast level of uh, minor skeletons and then I was gonna be on my way. 
And, um, well, we got it. It is a 0.01% drop chance. And, um, but we nailed it. We literally got exactly what we came for. We got our beast jerry levels we wanted. I, I seriously can't ask for more. Let's go ahead and grab out two stacks of enchanted gold really quick. Craft up an EXP share. Now we have an important choice. Which pet is going to be the lucky candidate? Okay, we have to choose a pet that's going to basically be rocking this thing for a, a good, good while. So, we have some good options. Part of me wants to choose like a level 1 pet. Because there's a good chance it'll be on there for a while. Uh, I should also choose... Wait a second. Why do I have... Okay, well, this skeleton horse can go. Wait, why did I get four skyblock XP? What the? Oh, maybe it, maybe it wasn't registering the level 100 one. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll take four skyblock XP. Don't mind if I do. Um, yeah, this thing I'm going to sell to George really quickly. Um, ooh, okay, I, part of me wants to just toss this thing on the turtle because I won't ever be playing with the turtle out. You know what I mean? So... It kind of makes the most sense. We also have like a zombie we can put it on. Skeleton, magma cube, horse, golem, ghoul. That's kind of the contenders right now. I think turtle pet is kind of screaming my name here. That it uh, it wants to be leveled up. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and we're going to slap an EXP share onto our turtle. Because I will never be playing with this thing out. So may as well have it level up. Now the skeleton horse on the other hand. Let me actually go to the hub. We need to grab a pet item just to put on it so that uh, the EXP share doesn't keep on taking everything. Um, ooh, isn't a saddle like the best thing for a skeleton horse? I mean, not that I'll really ever be using it. Okay, yeah, saddle's the move. It's like eight enchanted leather, please tell me. Oh, okay, good, I have some leather here. I was gonna, I was gonna say, I think I, I know I crafted uh, some glowstone gauntlets not too long ago, so I was gonna be very sad if I was completely out. Oh my, I might actually be short. We just crafted four, I had three there. I think I have za exactly, and oh, we're one short. Can I buy leather from anywhere? Is that like, is that a thing? Can you, can you please? It has been done. Honestly, it didn't take too long. Uh, grabbed a cow axe, and I have now eight enchanted leather. So we're gonna go ahead and craft ourselves a saddle, which increases the horse speed by fifty percent and jump boost by a hundred percent. Obviously, um, I don't really care. It's going on the skeleton horse that I'll never use probably. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna, I wish I could take this off. Can I, can you just give me this? Can I just can I take that real quick? No? Okay. Well, has to be done. We're replacing it with a saddle. Beautiful. And now our turtle can live his best life with his EXP share. Hopefully I don't end up with 55 million overflow XP on him too. And hopefully we can drop another one before then. But yeah, really happy with that. Uh, nice to have another pet finally being EXP shared. And we got a decent amount of beast here today as well as leveled up to level 349. So uh, what else can I ask for? I also decided to run over to the rift really quickly. We're going to go ahead and craft a blood badge. We're going to take our weird tuba. And uh, I don't know why I didn't do this before, but weird their tuba. There we go. And uh, now I need to make my way. I need to make my way back uh, actually over to the dark auction because I need to uh, basically transfer this thing over so I can toss it in to the museum which is gonna be a nice little nine skyblock xp it might even be a 15 I, th I can't remember if my next one was 15 or not or if my last one was 15 xp so either way it's gonna be some nice xp so uh let me go send this over and let's go claim it okay yeah my last one was 15 xp but uh this should still give us nine which is uh always nice and i will always take so thank you very much Let's go ahead and take this bad boy out so I don't forget it in here for the rest of the time. But yeah, just wanted to go do that really quickly because it didn't seem like too hard of a grind. I had to go grind out like 16 living metal hearts, that type of thing. So really didn't take too long. And uh, now we have another mu museum into the, uh, or another item into the museum, which you love to see. I wasn't going to record it because I was like, I can't be asked to switch to magic find stuff. I just want to keep going on Rome, watching the show. Enchanted book. Um... I dropped another Kamara. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Um, okay, that's kind of crazy. We got... That's my second ever Kamara book on this profile. Wow. Oh, my goodness. And, like, no magic find. Oh, my... <laughs> oh, that's insane. That's insane. Wow. Um... Did you on the caster six? Actually, Chimera. Yep. Wow. That's a, that's crazy. Jeez, I've only ever dropped one, and I have it on my Daedalus axe. So I guess I upgrade this to Chimera two, right? Like, 
I guess I have to, right? That's that's like what I have to do. Um, that is mental. That's mental. Ah, man, I I was literally thinking it. Sorry, I'm like in such disbelief. I'm literally a little bit of shock. I watched myself dig up the Inquisitor while I was killing it. I was like, part of me thinks I should record this just in case. Part of me is like, no, don't worry about. It. There's no world where you get a Chimera, and um, and then we get one. Like what? Oh my. That's insane. That's actually insane. Wow. Second ever Chimera book on the profile. Hopefully many more. Hopefully many more. It's probably going on my Daedalus Axe. Let me ask around though to make sure I'm not wasting this. And like I should start saving them for Claymore or something. I'm pretty sure it's going on my Daedalus Axe though. I'm 99% sure. Well, Deathstreak says it should go on to my Daedalus Axe. And that is enough for me. We're going to make our Daedalus Axe Chimera 2. My God, I need to show this thing a little bit of love, man. It's not even recon. Like what am I doing? So yeah, next recon I get, remind me. Oh man, there's a bunch of things actually I want to do with my next recon. Uh, but yeah, wow, that's insane. Um, I just for this damn speed of 10 minutes. What should I put this book on? You know what to do. Oh no, okay. It's it's going on. Uh, yeah, it's it's going on my day axe juice. I am not making the same mistake. I got another Inquisitor. I will kill. I will record myself killing this one because if I drop another Chimera without recording it, uh, people are gonna start saying I'm spawning these things in. Like, just spawn the books into my inventory or something. I, I don't know, but. Yeah, if we can get two, like, in back-to-back -back Inquisitors, that would be kind of insane. You know what? Let's be a little sweaty with it. Let's go like this. Let's go... What's its health at? 1.4. Uh, I don't want to die to this thing. But, I mean... Oh. Okay, we killed it. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't get anything. See? You go too sweaty, and uh, it, it doesn't like you. That's that's how that works, right? Um, Imagine, though, we get another one. That would actually be crazy, but... Yeah. Uh, no luck on that one. Um, still insane. Yeah, I mean, that was not too long between Inquisitors, so I can't fully complain. I need it for Beastier anyways, but... Wow, I, I still just can't believe we got one today. That's, like, the second one I've ever gotten, and, um, not gonna lie, if I really want to, like, max items at some point, I want Chimera on my Daedalus Axe, obviously, and a Claymore down the line. So, technically speaking... At the current state of the game, I need 32 of those things if I ever want to max those two items to like their full potential. So a few more books wouldn't hurt this event, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's very unrealistic, I'm going to be honest, but we, we, can, we can try our best. Like, I, I can see us eventually maybe getting like Chimera 3 on each, you know? Maybe that might be pushing it though. It really depends on how lucky we are. Either way... I'll take it. I'll cut back if I get another Inquisitor. Other than that, I've just been getting a bunch of drops. I also finally put a Dwarf Turtle Shelmet on my G-Drag. Uh, I have, like, almost a double... I swear, like, at least over half a double chest of those on the island. But, um, yeah, I dropped one. So I figured I may as well put one on before I forget. Because uh, I've forgotten over the last couple days. So, yeah, happy about that. But, uh, yeah, let's keep going. Okay, we got another Inquis on the line over here. Also, let me place this down just for... Oh. Never mind, I have no mana, apparently. Uh, let's just get back in there then and try and damage this thing up. 7.3 mil. Do I bother trying to go for some Sora with a Day Axe? You know what? I actually will. So let's try and get it a little bit lower here. Oh, or that guy can swoop in and my what hit would have been just uh, murders it. Um, show to that dude. What a, wow, that's annoying. Either way, uh, we leveled up the Beast Jury of it, actually. So that's pretty cool. We have a... Uh, 470 more Inquisitors to go. We did hit a bestiary milestone, though, actually, so that's that's kind of nice, I guess. But, man, that guy honestly scared me and completely griefed. So, it is what it is. There's a good chance I wasn't even going to, you know, try and swap for any of that. But I figured I may as well for the video. But uh, that guy decided for me, I guess. I guess it wasn't up to me. Also, well, well that makes sense. I didn't realize this lobby opened to begin with let alone flooded with 20 plus people so that's uh that's good fun great so i've been doing a decent amount of diana last night and i went ahead and put some of the newer drops into the chests and i actually have two crowns of greed i can also sell for a million coins each so i will go ahead and do that don't mind if i do uh i think i had like two or three mil i think i had two mil actually in my purse so I've, i went up like nine mil just from burrows as well which is kind of nice and then also went up well over another stack of feathers and over another stack of enchanted ancient claws. So, so far it's actually been going pretty well. I'm not going to lie. Uh, also, I went up a couple of bestiaries that I wasn't able to record a clip of. I went up Minotaur bestiary. 
Uh, yeah, really recently, as you can see, I'm getting really close actually to maxing Siamese Lynxes, which is really exciting. And I'm also very, very close to maxing Minos Champions. I actually only need 19 more of these things. So uh, that should come today as well. Guy Constructs a little bit a ways away from the next tier. And then in quiz, we also hit the last tier or another tier. So that's pretty exciting. Slowly but surely, all these beast years are coming together. And I'm actually six uh, bestiary tiers away from this milestone where I get 10 skyblock XP and a million combat XP, which is super nice. And uh, I really want to hit that one for sure. That's going to be milestone 230, I believe. So pretty exciting stuff. I was looking through, though. Uh, I, I have some easy ones, sure. But kind of tedious out of the way and uh will take a little bit longer than i want like what i mean by a little bit longer is like 800 pigmen or 800 flaming spires those are probably some of the easier ones i have and other than that it's in like the thousands of killing mobs um besides like tentacles i guess uh which is like 60 for my next tier and machos which i, I did a couple of lobby swaps couldn't find any and i'm like eight kills away from that so uh I, sure i could go get one tier but i need six so it, it's gonna come soon though which i'm really excited about and um yeah overall just our beast series going up our diana loot's going up honestly no complaints not to mention all this loot plus uh, another chimera book which is always amazing to get and hopefully we see many more in the future unfortunately that's all the time i have for today's episode uh we used up our luck i mean a chimera book are you kidding me not to mention like two days in a row of getting like god rolls from kudra and tomorrow we're actually gonna be hopping into m6 master mode who knows maybe we'll get like a giant sword or a precursor eye and see if we can keep this luck streak going our luck has been pretty ridiculous recently so i want to try and capitalize on that but thank you guys so much for watching today's video all the way to the end if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe don't forget to use code zach when checking on the hypixel store join my discord doing that 100 million coin giveaway right now you're going to want to get in it otherwise uh you can't win so that's how that works links in the description thank you so much for watching can't wait to see you guys in the next one take care and peace out